how the SEG's rotating magnetic field generates electricity. To grasp the principles behind the SEG's alleged electricity generation, we must delve into the fascinating world of magnetism and its relationship with electricity. Central to the SEG's operation is the concept of electromagnetic induction, a fundamental principle in physics discovered by Michael Faraday in the 19th century. Faraday's experiments revealed that a changing magnetic field could induce an electric current in a nearby conductor. This groundbreaking discovery laid the foundation for the development of electric generators, which form the backbone of our modern power grid. The SEG aims to harness this very principle of electromagnetic induction, albeit with a unique twist. As the magnets within the SEG rotate, they create a dynamic, constantly changing magnetic field. This rotating magnetic field, in turn, interacts with the stationary coils positioned around the device. This interaction induces an electromotive force or voltage within the coils, causing an electric current to flow. In essence, the SEG's spinning magnets act as a kind of magnetic crank, converting mechanical energy into electrical energy. The critical distinction between the SEG and conventional generators lies in Searle's claim of over-unity. Traditional generators require a continuous input of energy, be it from burning fossil fuels, harnessing wind power, or other means, to maintain the rotation of their magnetic fields and generate electricity. Searle, however, asserted that once the SEG reaches a certain speed, the energy generated by the rotating magnetic field becomes self-sustaining, exceeding the energy required to keep the magnets in motion. This claim, if true, would represent a paradigm shift in our understanding of energy production, implying the SEG could generate electricity indefinitely without requiring any external fuel or energy input. However, it's crucial to emphasize that this claim of over-unity directly contradicts the established laws of thermodynamics, which govern energy conservation.